And then we go. Checking feces for signs of parasites. Oh, look at that. It's just one of the jobs that helps all fungal farmer Melvin Forlong choose which oh, yeah. Romney rams are best to breed. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit more moist than I would like to see, but nonetheless it's still holding together. The samples are tested for parasites, and the worm-resistant sheep are bred because their immune systems are stronger and offspring will be low maintenance okay. with little or no need for drenching and dagging. Sooner or later, um, drenches will fail, and it's proving to be the case now, where instead of taking 20 years to fail, some of them are failing very, very much sooner. Farmers and experts have long known the effects over-drenching can have. It's an ongoing issue for the rural sector. The, the tricky thing is now we're starting to get more, more complex resistance, where we've got worms that are resistant to two or even three different drench chemicals. So even, say, the triple combination drenches, which are relatively recent, um, are no longer effective in some worm species. Back in Orfongal, Mr Forlong says he's been selectively breeding for about 15 years and at least 70% of the stock on his farm has never been drenched. Parasites have definitely got a place in the cycle of life. Uh, I believe its job, the parasite's job, uh, from my point of view, is to stimulate the immune system. Because all we're looking for are sheep with a, a very good immune system that can deal with parasites and whatever else. But over in Mahoenui, <whistles> Russell Prophet has a different approach. If I had a choice and didn't have to drench, I wouldn't. But there's a fine, there's a fine line of, you know, you can't, you've got to make an economic call and you've got to make an animal health call. Mr Prophet's neighbour agrees. We need to use drenches, we need to use them really wisely, not overuse them because we want to be here farming in another 20 years and we need the drenches to still be working for us. Alternatively, good feed management and rotational grazing can prevent the onset of worms. You don't need drench to be able to farm, you can farm without drench, it's just it's more difficult and tends to be less productive. But where you're farming on a larger scale, larger sized property with more animals, then obviously monitoring them individually is very hard to do. Drench resistance will continue to get worse if it's used as the only treatment for worms and parasites. Instead, farmers are being encouraged to find a balanced parasite management plan. Hunter Calder, Local Focus.